Do you ever have a month that just is kind of like blah? <laughs> so my month of May uh, was kind of busy, but also kind of blah, which is probably why I'm posting a little late, but that's nothing new here. Um, I do hope you guys are enjoying the read local content that I've put together for you. I'm very proud of it. I'm hoping to get at least one more episode. You've seen one. There's one scheduled. There's another one that's going to be scheduled soon. So I'm hoping to um, at least get at least four of those out for this second season. And I am working on a read all over season two as well. But let's talk about my Goodreads wrap up. I have completed 15 books towards my goal of 36, so I am on track. Um, so I have 42% done. And I am finding that it is getting harder to complete this goal, even though this is a really easy goal for me that I've done in the past. I have just been in such a reading slump lately, and I'm really hoping that I will find something to kind of get me out of it. And I think something that I'm currently reading is helping with that. So I'm going to briefly mention what I'm currently reading. Since I am working on season two of the Read Local show, I am reading a book by one of the authors I interviewed. So I'm currently reading Entheophage and I'm yeah, I think I said that right. <laughs> and uh, I am enjoying it, but I'll say more about that later once it's completed and I'm ready to do my review. So for the month of May, I finished three titles. There was one title that I started and I did not finish it. And so this would technically be a DNF situation, but I really feel like this is something that I want to go come back to later. Sometimes I feel like when I'm reading something, I'm just not in the right mindset for me to be able to judge it fairly. So I didn't rate this book and I didn't leave a review for it. I basically put it on my unfinished list so that I can try to go back to it. So it's not currently on any of my lists or anything, but it is one that I've mentioned before. It is one of the IWSG book club reads for the current quarter, and that is Razor Valentine. So I did pick it up and I tried to get into it, but I just don't think I'm in the right mindset. So I haven't rated it. I'm not going to be reviewing it. It's basically not on my shelf right now. So, um, but it is something that the book club is looking at. As far as what I did actually read, I read Leela Lou's Little Library, A Gift from the Heart. Um, it's a picture book. I kept saying that I was going to read a picture book and I finally did it. And I gave this an overall um, star rating of four. I'll talk about that more in my review. Uh, another thing that I read, I finally finished the Brides of Maricor. Um, that's one I think I started maybe a month or two ago. It just took me a long time because life and um, I think I ended up giving it an overall star rating of three. So that probably lets you know, again, it took me a little longer to, re to read than usual. I'll talk about that in the review. And then the last thing that I read, and these are not actually in the order that I read them. Let me just specify that was In Darkness, The Shark. This is a short story or novella series that's been released by L. Diane Wolf. I liked the first book, so I tried this one. I liked this one, so I, I've already pre-ordered the next one for whenever it releases, I think in September. And so that one was an overall star rating of five, and I'll talk about that more in my review. So this month, the IWSG Book Club challenges to read a book about puppy love. And so we have a lot of different suggestions for people to pick up to read books that have, you know, a dog in it or a puppy or something like that. Usually I do try to take the challenge. Um, last month, um, because I couldn't get into Razor Valentine, which was my book for the New Orleans challenge. I don't know. I'm just not feeling motivated to do the next challenge, even though I love puppies. So we shall see. Um, I might pick up a picture book just to get that challenge kind of under my belt, but we will see how it goes. So this is my late May Goodreads wrap up. And that is what I read in the month of May. And I would love to know what you guys are reading. Stick around because I am going to be posting the book review video shortly. All right, guys, until next time, stay safe and be with us. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You can also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that.
โอเคบ๊ายบาย